you know, you've talked, Dr. Kahumbu, about growing up near so many animals and how not only are they just not as prevalent now, but some of them are on the endangered species list. It may seem obvious, but what do humans lose as wildlife dies out? Wow, uh, what do we not lose? We lose, we lose so much. I think we lose our humanity. Um, human beings are part of nature. We're not apart from nature. We are part and parcel of nature. And our relationship with nature is very important. And I think we see this a lot in terms of levels of stress, levels of depression around the world as people become increasingly disconnected from nature. And as we lose our, our animals, we lose a part of ourselves. And I can say this because when people come to Kenya, we have over a million visitors come to our country every year to see the great wildebeest migration, to come and see our elephants, our lions, giraffes. And they stand out there in the savannah and they say, I don't want to go home. I feel like I'm at home now. And it's not surprising. As a species, we evolved. We co-evolved with all these other animals and plants and landscapes. So when we let it all go, we actually lose an important part of ourselves. On a very practical day-to-day -day level, we're also losing our life support systems. We cannot thrive without good quality air. We cannot thrive without water that's potable. We can't eat food that is contaminated and expect to thrive. And we've seen so much sickness around the world that is related to damage to ecosystems, the pollution and uh, infections and uh, poisons and chemicals, um, that uh, the only way to reverse it is through having healthy and resilient uh, ecosystems. And by that, I mean, you know, trees, soils, air, water, all of these things are interconnected. And when they work together, they can actually um, forestall so much of the damage. But when we start damaging and removing the trees, for example, we don't have any resilience against climate change, for example. When we remove mangroves, we have no resilience against storms that are coming in and thrashing our coastline. So I think, you know, there are so many um, different ways that we will suffer when we lose these species. And we've seen, you know, apart from practical things, there is a, there is a real sorrow in the, in the world right now. I sense it, that uh, there's real heartbreak. We have two remaining northern white rhinos in Kenya. Their names are Najin and Fatu. And when I filmed them, I saw how it affected my entire crew. We're witnessing a species on the brink of extinction. These two animals will be gone within the next few years. Uh, it's heartbreaking and, and it's not something that we even have the words or the language to articulate how it affects us, but it affects us very deeply.